Welcome guys to the show. Today it's the church uh told you I promise you it's the church video. So give me a second. Alright, right there. Hmm. Okay. Turns up a bit. Can you hear me? Okay. I'm going to down a bit. Okay. This is uh, the uh, Christian show. So here we go. Let's see the Bible. Okay. Let's talk that. And okay, 22. 32, I mean. And he said to go. So they had come out. They went into the herd of swine. And suddenly the whole herd of swine ran violently down the steep place into the sea and pierced in the water. Then those who kept them fleed. And they went away into the city and told everything, including what had happened to the demon possessed man. And behold, the, city, the whole city came out to meet Jesus. And when they saw him, they begged him to depart from their region. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus' ministry at Nazareth. Chapter, first, chapter 9, verse 4. From. Give me something to drink. Give me something to drink. Huh. Anyway, we're back. Sorry about the, I had to do that. Give me some drink. Anyway, so he got into a boat, crossed over, and came to his own city. Then behold, they brought, brought to him a paralytic lying on the bed, on a bed. When Jesus saw their faith and said, he said to the parasitic, paralytic, Son, be of a good cheer, your sin will forgive you, are forgiven you. At once some of the scribes said within themselves, This man blasphemes. But Jesus, knowing their thoughts, said, why, why do you thank evil in your heart? For your which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven you, or to say, Arise and walk, but that power, but that you may know that the Son of Man has the, has power on earth to forgive sins. Then he said to the per, paralyzed chick, Arise, take your, up your bed in your house, and go to your house, up your bed and go to your house. Then he arose and departed to his house. Now when he, when the multitude saw it, they marveled and glorified God. <coughs> Who had given such power to man as Jesus passed on from there? He saw a man named Matthew sitting at the ta at the tax office and said, "He said to him, follow me." He rose and followed him, followed him. Now it happened as Jesus sat at the table in the house, then that behold, many tax collectors and sinners came and sat down with him and the disciples, simple reasons, something like that. And when the Pharisees saw they said to the disciples, sip, Why don't you teach your tax to eat with tax collectors and sinners? When Jesus heard that, he said to them, Those who are, we who are well to have no need of the psyche, and, but those who are sick, but go and learn what this means. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. For what I did not come to call it the righteousness, but sinners to repent. Hold on. Uh, excuse me. Anyway, 
You know what that means? It means to listen to Jesus. He always follow his words. So don't decline his words. If you don't decline his words, you want the devil. And if you talk about the devil, that's what can get you. That's what can get you. Right there. You know how it happens. It's not cool either. Where Jesus is people. My dad ball. We'll tell you a minute. Let me get to that part. Excuse me. All right, the Ten Commandments out right quick. Those vaults are going to crumble like glass. And that's the place we're coming back on that body. Ten Commandments. Ten Commandments. We're going to read. Number one. Those shall not have any other gods before me. Man, you don't need to be another god and try to be turn into a god. Like when there's already a god in the, in this world. It's a good. And you don't want to do that. Sorry. Yeah. Those, now here's number two. Those shall not make uh, any graven image and bow themselves to them. Don't bow to other statues in again. That's what you can't find. Keep it 
and the bottom, on our back bottom, and on our and, and thigh nut. Main dog. It means to honor your father or dad, that mother and mom and dad that died. <coughs> so, yeah. Number six, thou shalt not kill. Don't go out and kill people or go yeah, go murder people. That's what's going to happen. That's all going to happen. So, yeah. Thou shalt not commit adultery. <clears throat> Means if you're dating somebody else and you get you're married and you're dating somebody else and you get any uh have sex with them, that's adultery. And he right there and he said, Don't shut up fail. Me, don't go out there and catch a basketball, take a TV, anything like that. It's uh, somebody else. So, yeah. I even remember. Seven. Or eight. Or nine. No, but put it in there, Brian. Read the Bible for a while. Put it in the Ten Commandments. Number nine. He's in the Ten Commandments in the Bible. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Me, don't go out there if they ain't done anything. Don't go out there and make anything false or mock. Don't go saying, oh, this neighbor done this. And that when the neighbor didn't do anything. Or the neighbor done, didn't do that. They, the neighbor done this. Or the, that neighbor done that. You're making false witnesses. Them witnesses ain't going to help you. Last one. Thou shalt not cut anything that is thy neighbor's. Means don't go out and don't go in their house and look around and look at their side picking up stuff. That's what I still do all the time. That's what all of me. Hold on. I thought I heard a beat, but I bet he's trying to beat you. Sorry. We go! We are out! Stay. Um. Okay. There. Wait. Then the disciples of John came to him saying, Why do we do. Why do we and the Pharisees fast often, but your disciples do not fast? And Jesus said to them, Can the friends of the bridegroom mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? But the day will come when the bridegroom will be taken away from them, and then they will fast. No one puts a piece of a unshrunk off on the old, on an old dog. Or the patch pulls pulls away from the garment and the tears made worse. Made worse. Nor do they put new water into old wine skins. Or else the wine skins break, the wine skin is peeled. And the wine skins are ruined. But they put new wine into the new wine skin to both our preserve.
Let's just stop. Way back. We're back. Cut. Let me put something in the back in this cut.
Here we go. We're going to read the part where we stopped at earlier. Okay. Um, while he starts these things to them, behold, a ruler came and worshipped him, saying, My daughter had just died. But come and lay your hand on her, and she will live. So Jesus arose and followed him, so he did his disciples, and suddenly a woman who had a flow of blood for ten years came from behind and touched the hem of his garment. For she said to herself, if, I, if only I may touch his garment, I shall be made well. But she just turned around when he saw her, be a, a good cheer. he said, be of good cheer, daughter, you faith has made you well, and the woman had, was made well from the house. When Jesus came into the ruler's house and saw the foot players and noisy crowd wall, he said to them, Make it for the girl is not dead but sleeping. And they ridiculed him. But when the crowd was put outside, he went in and took her by hand and the girl arose. Um, Excuse me. Do you know what that means, guys? It means that when you go out try something, you don't know what you're doing. It can hurt you. It can hurt you badly. Yeah. We're going to talk about the NBA.